There's a quietness within the sunrises and sunsets. There's an infinity to it. And I was walking through the forest the other day and um, I was paying attention to my environment around me. And at first I was putting a lot of pressure on being like, oh, I'm in nature. I need to, you know, get to a certain place or be a certain amount of calm or, or there's a reason for me being here other than just being here. And I took a moment to look at the trees and to listen to the sounds around me and to just pay attention to the world around me. And I realized that the moment that I lose gratitude and things, ooh, birds. <laughs> the moment that I lose gratitude in the things that seem like they're given, like the natural earth or the trees or the soil or the birds, the moment I start to see those things as something that are just automatic and I throw away my gratitude for them, those are the moments when I begin to search for some sort of meaning. And I begin to search for something to fill an emptiness that is created by a lack of gratitude. And I realize in moments like this right now where I'm just watching the sun come up and now it's up enough where I'm starting to get a little bit blinded by it. When I take time to just pay attention to the things in life that seem like they are a given, I realize that those are the, actually the most mystical things. Those are actually the most unknown things. The way that the birds build their nests or the way that the ants have their colonies or the way that, or the way that the sky changes color every morning and every night into a rainbow as the sun comes up and, and comes down. Even though those things seem like such a given, those are the things that I remember to be grateful for because no matter what happens throughout my day of being a human, I get to sit down and watch the sunset and remember that I actually have no idea why I'm here and every moment of this life is a gift. And so in a world that constantly challenges me to be overstimulated or look for something so much outside of this natural earth, I am reminded that the things that are a given are often the things that are the most grounding and awe-filled experiences. And I've been paying attention more and more whenever I start to feel a little bit tense or not inspired or just like a little sad or something like that. Usually those are the times when I'm not being grateful for this stuff. And so I'm starting to realize that the more I learn to appreciate nature, appreciate my environment, appreciate the people in my life and and all of the things that seem like they are just given. The more I feel open and the more I feel happy and the more I feel inspired because to remain in a, a, a state of wonder in a world that thinks they've had it all figured out, that is where the beauty is found, in the not knowing, in the wonder, in the awe, in remembering that we are tiny in comparison to this earth. In comparison to this universe, we are even tinier. And being in a state of wonder and gratitude is such a gift because the world gets so much bigger and so much more full of opportunity. It's always a practice for me, but I have been noticing lately that um, when I remember to be grateful for these moments, for all moments and for the little parts of them, it ripples into my life and, and makes me feel so much better. And the sun is now starting to get super bright. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I um, actually got in last night from visiting my sister and had a super long day of traveling and now I'm back. And I feel like whenever I get back from vacation or just being away in general, when I come back into my life, it's always an opportunity to kind of like step in as a more whole version of myself because I have the perspective of things that I get to change or work on about myself. And I just came back feeling inspired to, to just be more joyful and slow in my life. I think I, I have done my best, but there's always improvements and it's easy to live in a city and get kind of sucked into just like the rhythm of it moves fast, traffic moves fast. People don't really say hi to each other on the streets. And instead of thinking that there's something wrong with that, I get to change that by 
actually doing that instead of just being aware of it and like saying hi to people on the streets and driving slower or more, you know, graciously or um, just living with a lot more ease and grace. And so, yeah, I, I really love going away even for just a little bit because it really reminds me of the perspective on my life and gets to take me out of it so that I can um, fill it with a little bit more joy. And so I'm back and I watched the sunrise this morning, which was super nice because I'm on a different time zone and I was like, oh, it's an opportunity to wake up super early and watch the sunrise. Um, so I got up at four and did my morning practice and then I came up here and yeah, it feels really good to be here and um, have that perspective and we don't always have opportunities to go on vacation or, or go on a trip and be able to leave our life to get perspective on the gratitude of it but I feel like a huge way to do that is just to pay attention to the things that seem like they're a given as I was talking about like if you don't have the opportunity to go away and get perspective on your life a grain of sand or a flower or a bird can give you infinite perspective on how little we know about why we're here in this earth. And when you live in a state of wonder, that is when the world feels so much bigger and life feels so much more alive. And yeah, so I just wanted to share that because yeah, I just think it's something we have collectively started to forget in this age of information. That life is a gift and it's wonderful and it's fun and it's enjoyable and it's a mystery and that is so exciting. Um, and so yeah, I just wanted to share that this early morning with you and I hope that you're doing well and taking care of yourself and I just hope that in every little moment of your life you're able to take a step back and be filled again with the wonder of being alive and getting to experience all of the gifts that come with it. So thank you so much for listening. I hope that you're doing well and taking care of yourself. And I hope that you enjoy the rest of your day today. <laughs>